we can't all be athletes, but if you love sports, that doesn't have to stop you. <laughs> okay, hold on, I, I need a moment. Ooh. Today, we're checking out five sports jobs for those of us who aren't exactly about to go pro. Sports statistician. These days, sports are all about stats. Whether teams are deciding who to draft and who to trade, or who to start and who to sit, they make a lot of their big decisions based on data. And that means there are plenty of sports job opportunities for people who love numbers. It's really just trying to come up with a competitive advantage over other teams that we can try and use to win our game. I grew up playing sports, mainly softball. Kind of figured out during my junior year of college that I wanted to continue the sports thing, but I knew probably playing the sport wasn't going to be an option for me. And I always really liked math and sports, and so I was trying to merge the two, essentially. I know it sounds cheesy, it just like went with like my passion, with my heart, and like where I felt like I really, truly felt like I belonged. Sports reporter. If you love storytelling, sports reporting can help you spotlight the human side of sports. And you can do your reporting through video, radio, podcasting, writing, any medium that really speaks to you. So I was known as like the broadcasting guy and I would always like do with my friends, we'd play basketball and then afterwards I'd, I'd pretend I'm like, you know, the post game guy and you know, I would do the interview with them and I was known as the guy, everyone always got a kick out of it. And I remember in ninth grade, I'll never forget it, I was reading Sports Illustrated and it was an issue that listed the best schools for whatever. Um, and then I got to best broadcasting school and it said Syracuse University. So I was like, I'm going to Syracuse University. Now, the first thing I do, I wake up and I have my, my iPhone next to me and I go straight onto the MMA websites because I can't wait to see what I missed at like 3 a.m., you know, if there were any news broke, you know? It's, it's great to love what you do. So just, you know, it just there's no reason why any one of us can't do what we love doing, you know what I mean? There's no reason, why, why should we have to settle? Sports marketing. If you watch professional sports on TV, you know how many advertisers are involved in the professional sports industry. With all of the advertising and marketing that's been infused into the sports world, you can specialize in entertainment or sports marketing and work on some really cool sports-based campaigns. One of the cooler things that my, my team has worked on, um, we have a partnership with Activision Blizzard. So we are the um, title sponsor of the Overwatch League. And as part of that, we're also the title sponsor of BlizzCon, right? So BlizzCon happens out here, I'm in Los Angeles. And one of the cool things we did about two years ago now is there's a, a diner in the game called the Panorama Diner. And if you think about Coke, a lot of times you're experiencing Coke with food. So we thought it'd be a really cool experience to bring it to life. So bringing, the, bringing this gaming lore to life and giving people that are big fans of the Overwatch League and a, a chance to experience the Panorama Diner in real life. So said simply, we recreated the Panorama Diner and people went nuts over it at BlizzCon. <laughs> you know, when you go to those experiences and you see the surprise and delight on people's faces and the joy that you brought them, in a lot of ways that's rewarding. Broadcast producer. Whether it's locking down an interview with a notoriously grumpy coach or picking out the perfect camera angle to make us all feel like we're a part of the action, broadcast producers work behind the scenes to transform sporting events into powerful television. I love telling stories within sport that can make sense to other people who maybe don't follow that sport or participate in that sport. I always thought as a silent reporter, my grandma was watching, would she understand this? Would she latch on to this individual that I'm interviewing? Like, it's not about me, it's about getting the story out of those individuals that I'm interviewing. And that was what I clinged on to and what I continue to cling on to right now in my career. Sports photographer. Sports photographers get a front row seat to all the action. So if you're wondering how to combine your sports fandom with your love of art, try getting behind the lens. The moment you capture something, you know, and you, and you just know you got it in your camera, you know, you, it's, it's magical. I just walked through the doors that were open for me and I just took them and here I'm now and I'm just fortunate to do something that I love and it trips me out that I get paid for it. So at the end of the day, it's like doors are gonna open and close and it just, it's gonna come down to which ones you walk through. Oh. Now that we've shown you a few more doors into the sports world, let us know which one you choose to walk through in the comments. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. 
Oh, I tried. <laughs> <laughs>